I'm Julie Kuzma with a how-to video on making the butterfly craft found in our summer adventures amusements and more and how to make your own fairy found in the enchanted fairy realm too. First photocopy the butterfly craft pages found in the back of the book. Next gather your supplies. You'll need a glue stick or tape and a pair of scissors. And you'll need drinking straws, plain or decorated. And for this project, it doesn't matter if they're plastic or paper. And you'll need to get some colored pencils or crayons or markers to color your butterfly wings. I'll be using colored pencils today. Select which butterfly to color and then color as desired. Then carefully cut out each colored piece, being mindful not to cut off the antenna. They can be a little tricky to cut around. Now we're ready to affix our butterfly to a straw using either the glue or tape. I'm going to carefully tape a straw to the back of each of mine. Now finally, arrange your butterflies in a vase or place them in a pencil holder. Such fun adding this little reminder of nature indoors. I hope you enjoy reading and creating with our summer. Next craft is creating your own fairy. You'll use the same supplies here too. Make copies of the fairy craft pages in Enchanted Fairy Realm 2 book. Select which fairies you would like to use and then carefully cut them out. I've selected both a boy and girl fairy. Next, select which fairy wings you want and color them in. Now you will cut those out as well. Once this is done, you're ready to affix your wings to the back of your fairy or to a straw. First, I'm going to fold my wings in half and turn the fairy over and tape it to the back. You can also tape a straw to the back of your fairy if you'd like. You might want to cut your fairy wings in half so you can stagger them. Fold it in half like we did before, and this time cut down the center. You can now uh, turn your fairy over and decide exactly where to place them. First, I'll tape one wing to the back of this fairy. And after that, I can turn it over and decide the exact position that the other section of the fairy wing should go. So I'll place this one there. Alternately, you might want to just leave your wings unfolded and uncut and put them on the back of a fairy that way. Now you're ready to put on a straw and display. I hope you enjoy creating these crafts and I hope you enjoy reading both Our Summer and The Enchanted Fairy Realm too. Until next time.